With the volcanoes in Hawaii and Guatemala popping their tops right about now, we thought it was an appropriate time to tell you about some of the many other active volcanoes on Earth that you probably don't even know about. They're found all over the world, and we're willing to bet there's at least one a little closer to you than you'd like. Enough talk, more walk. This is incredible and terrifying active volcanoes. Number 10, Sakurajima. This crazy huge composite volcano was once its own island and is found in Kyushu, Japan in Kagoshima Prefecture. It was connected to the Osumi Peninsula back in 1914 by lava flows from a pretty crazy eruption. Volcanic activity occurs fairly often and the most recent happened on May 2nd, 2017, but was relatively tame, which was good because in 2016, experts agreed that the volcano could have a reasonably major eruption in the next 30 years. So it's being watched closely. The volcano itself is classified as a stratovolcano and has a summit with three different peaks, Nakadake, Kitadake, and Minamidake, which is active right now. Kitadake is the highest though, and it reaches 3,665 feet above sea level. The first recorded eruption of Sakurajima happened in 963 AD, and the volcano itself is much older than that. It formed 22,000 years ago during a massive eruption in the Ira Caldera. Since 2009, Sakurajima has experienced a bunch of activity, including eruptions that are a bit scary considering the real possibility of a major eruption sometime soon. Crazy stuff, right? Number 9. Makaya Pacaya is found in Guatemala and is an active complex volcano that's been erupting for a very, very long time. It first began popping off 23,000 years ago and can spend long periods dormant, but one thing seems to be the case. It always keeps erupting. Most of the eruptions are what they called strombolian, where they are relatively small eruptions and mainly eject plumes into the sky. Occasionally though, Flynean eruptions, also known as Vesuvian eruptions, happen and shower ash and lava everywhere, but are known for mass amounts of pumice ejection and gas-driven eruptions. People flock to visit this volcano every year for fun, as it's easily accessible due to its proximity to Antigua and Guatemala City. The last time action got intense and peaked was on March 2nd, 2014, when Pacaya popped off for a bit and rained down ash on both Guatemala City and Antigua. It's been reported that Pacaya has erupted at least 23 times since the Spanish conquest, meaning it erupts relatively regularly. Number eight, White Island. This active volcano is also known as Wakari and is classified as an andesite stratovolcano that is the most active cone volcano in all of New Zealand. The volcano itself has been formed and built over many years, approximately 50,000, by the continuous activity present basically all the time. White Island is relatively circular and it mostly has a diameter of approximately 1.2 miles in any direction and in total, the island covers roughly 800 acres. The tippiest, tallest point stretches a fairly impressive 1,053 feet into the sky, and what's visible above the surface of the water is just the top of a much grander submarine mountain that stretches around 5,249 feet from the sea floor to that previously mentioned tip-top point of Wakari. The place is dangerous as there are times during eruptions where the entire island is covering in boiling mud and ash, which is something we can all assume nobody wants. The last significant eruptions occurred between 1981 and 1983, but minor eruptions have been reported more recently, which pretty much just eject ash into the air, and that's about that. Number 7. Mount Bromo Located in East Java, Indonesia, Mount Bromo is part of the Tanger Massif, which is a spot on the Earth's crust that is marked up with fault lines and or flexures. Well, we know that things are moving and shifting there, so it all makes sense, and the volcanic complex Tanger Massif that Mount Bromo resides in is surrounded by a plain that is called the Sea of Sand. If you feel so inclined, you can take a nice walk from Chamorro Luang, a mountain village nearby, and in about 45 minutes, you'll find yourself face to face with the massive furious volcano. It stands at 7,641 feet, which means that in Tanger Massif, it's not the tallest. Mount Bromo is, however, the most famous and known peak of all of them, and the entire area is one of the most popular and traveled to attractions for tourists in East Java. It pitches a fit every once in a while and is pretty unpredictable, but scientists have their eye trained closely on Bromo, and anytime it's begun showing any signs of eruptions, the scientists are sure to give out warnings. Number 6. Galeras 
The active Andean stratovolcano known as Galeras is found in Colombia, pretty close to the department of Narino's capital, Pasto. The pretty colossal volcano reaches 14,029 feet into the sky and is, at this time, Colombia's most active volcano. Now, Galeras isn't a new thing. In fact, Galeras has been active for around a million years, and the calderas that you see at the site were formed at different times throughout history. The first one was formed roughly 560,000 years ago when an eruption spewed around 3.6 cubic miles of material and obviously got rid of a lot of volcano side. The same happened at some point anywhere between 40,000 and 150,000 years before present time and got rid of another whole section of Galeras. It erupts pretty frequently and even in just the last 118 years, it's erupted 15 to 20 times, which makes this thing pretty scary. Some people still live close to this bad boy and sometimes that can be deadly, so keep an eye out. Number 5. Popocatepetl. What is it? A pretty active stratovolcano is what it is. Where is it? In central Mexico, in the states of Mexico, Morelos, and Puebla. The volcano is found near Mexico City, just 43 miles to the southeast of the country's capital. Popocatepetl was once home to glaciers and was only one of three peaks in the area that contained them. However, by 2001, all of the glaciers on the volcano were gone, and the loss of said glaciers was said to be partly due to global warming and partly to increased volcanic activity. This particular volcano is right around 730,000 years old and is currently active following a period of inactivity that spanned nearly half a century. In the years following 1519, after the Spanish arrived in the area, the volcano has had 15 significant eruptions, and the last came in 2000, but scientists were able to deliver evacuation orders before things got too dangerous. Number 4. Mount Vesuvius Okay, so this is probably one of the most famous and well-known volcanoes on this whole list, so we'll keep it brief. The eruption of this big bad boomer in AD 79 has been blamed for the utter destruction of cities like Herculaneum and Pompeii. Of course, it was blamed because that's, you know, what actually happened. Typically, Vesuvius has a cycle of around 20 years and then it erupts again, so we're all actually quite lucky that we haven't been destroyed by this thing already. Since then, the scary volcano has erupted a bunch of times, but none have come close to what happened in AD 79. It is also the only volcano on all of the European mainlands that has erupted within the last hundred years, so it is the only genuinely terrifying volcano across the pond. It is often cited as one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world, and it's not because of the amount of lava it has or its frequency of eruption, but it is because there is a population of roughly 3 million people living pretty close by. If it goes, those 3 million people are going to have a hard time even leaving the area, really, so we'll stay here, far, far away, and live our lives unterrified. Number 3. Volcán de Fuego This volcano literally translates to English as Volcano of Fire, and we can see that right about now, seeing as it is wreaking havoc in Guatemala. The active stratovolcano sits on the borders of three departments in the country and is only around 10 miles to the west of Antigua, a trendy tourist destination and one of the most famous cities in all of Guatemala. Though the volcano is renowned for being active pretty much all the time at really low levels, we see now that massive eruptions are possible. There are casualties following the intense Sunday eruption and pyroclastic flow, which is basically a searing hot debris cloud. This goes to show that even the most unexpected can happen, and those volcanoes that have been relatively tame for some time can go off whenever. Number 2. Kilauea this fantastic shield volcano found in the Hawaiian Islands just happens to be the most active of five different volcanoes that form Hawaii. This volcano just so happens to be erupting right now, and that began in January 1983, but it intensified on May 3rd, 2018, and that eruption is called the 2018 Lower Puna Eruption. Two dozen lava vents opened up in a matter of weeks, and things escalated quickly from there. Earthquakes and eruptions have happened since, including one that occurred and was partnered with a magnitude 5.5 earthquake on June 3rd, 2018. Lava has been spilling since and now covers an area that's roughly recorded at 8 square miles. While the volcano erupting since 1983 seems like it should have been cause for concern, Kilauea has been relatively dormant and peaceful for some time and only recently did some real action begin to happen. 117 homes have been reported destroyed on Hawaii's big island, which is terrible and sad, but at least as of now, there have been no fatalities reported. Number 1. The Yellowstone Caldera We all know and have heard of this one, the most terrifying one, the end-all, be-all of supervolcanoes with the potential of unleashing a super eruption on all of us and ending things as we know it. Now that we got that out of the way, let's take a brief peek at why this thing is so scary. It's located in Yellowstone National Park in the US, and the caldera itself measures about 34 by 45 miles, or in layman's terms, is large and in charge enough to kill all of us, which seems crazy for a place so beautiful. 
The caldera formed throughout history and through three different super eruptions 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 630,000 years ago. The floor of the Yellowstone caldera has been rising since sometime between 2004 and 2008, and it's rising about three inches per year, which is about three times as much as we've ever measured or observed since scientists began taking measurements in 1923. A belief held by scientists is that the volcano won't produce another super eruption anytime soon, but beliefs aren't something to count on, so we will hope and pray instead. Mind-blowing, right? We sure hope that Kilauea and Fuego get their stuff figured out soon. If you dug this video, click the thumbs up, talk to us in the comments, and subscribe for excellent content every day.